As regular viewers will know, freight handling is taken very seriously on the Peckforton Light Railway. Over the years, I have accumulated around 80 goods wagons and devised several computer-based freight management programs. My most recent has been written to run on my trusty Scion 3A pocket computer, which is now nearly 30 years old. In 1993, its one megabyte of memory was considered generous, but that means I have to be very careful in my programming. On previous versions of my freight management program, movements were controlled by a weighting system, individually allocated to each wagon. But on the Scion, I have had to compromise to save memory capacity. And so, I have devised eight categories of wagon to guide the software in allocating probable destinations for wagons. The first category I identified was C for coal. In the 1930s, coal was probably the most common commodity carried on railways. On the Peckforton Light Railway, there are around 15 coal wagons of various types. The system assumes they will travel to every station, but they are more heavily weighted to travel to Beeston Castle, where William France and son has his coal merchant's business. However, all five stations on the Peckforton Light Railway have coal staves, where coal is dropped off for local inhabitants and businesses, and empties are picked up. The waiting system for the C category is heavily biased for Beeston Market as a destination, and so empties are far more likely to return to the main terminus than go anywhere else on the system. The next category I devised was T for timber. At Peckforton there is a thriving sawmill which requires a regular supply of raw lumber and outputs an equally regular supply of sawn timber which is used by the local community or transshipped via the main line for wider distribution. The sawmill has its own shunting loco which not only moves wagons around the yard it also removes wagons from and attaches them to the daily pickup goods or, occasionally, to and from one of the daily mixed trains. As lumber could be received from and sawn timber delivered to any of the stations on the railway, the weightings are fairly uniform across the stations, though of course Peckforton, with its sawmill, is more heavily weighted as a destination. Another category, P, for pit props, is used for wagons which have been specifically acquired to transport pit props from the sawmill to the copper mine. There are three lengths of pit props to meet the varying needs of the mine workers. Although the sawmill at Peckforton and the copper mine are the primary destinations for these wagons, Beeston Market has a medium high weighting as pit props are sometimes exported via the main line to other destinations. Inevitably there is a miscellaneous or M category. This covers open wagons, flat wagons and some vans which could end up anywhere on the railway. Although the weightings are similar to C for coal there is some variation. M wagons are for example unlikely to travel to the copper mine. Livestock wagons also fall into the M category. I find them interesting to marshal, as, when loaded with cattle or sheep, they are usually positioned in a train immediately behind the loco, to avoid excess jostling.
A more specific category is B for beer or brewery. The brewery is located on a siding at Beeston Castle and so this destination and Beeston Market are heavily weighted. However, it is also assumed that the brewery's output will be transported to pubs at each of the villages served by the railway and so each of these has a medium weighting. The copper mine, for obvious reasons, is not included. Another quite specific category is S for sacks. The water mill receives sacks of grain and needs to send out sacks of meal and so S wagons are highly likely to travel to and from the mill siding. They will also visit the brewery. At Bukley we have the boneworks and also a loading dock for soft fruit from local farms and nurseries. Category F for fruit covers both fruit and boneworks traffic. F wagons are mostly vans but carcasses are also transported to the boneworks in open wagons though local inhabitants insist these are tarpaulin covered. As you can see the loading dock is also used for livestock. The final category G is very specific and refers to the gunpowder van though one of the tanker wagons has also been assigned to this category. The weightings ensure that G wagons only travel to and from Beeston Market and the Copper Mine. G wagons are usually marshalled with ore trains being positioned in the middle of the train for safety reasons. Sand quarry traffic is not part of the categorization system as at present only sand hopper wagons visit the quarry sidings. However, representations are being made to the Railway Management Board for occasional deliveries of fuel oil and some miscellaneous loads to be included. Hopefully, this video gives a flavour of the way in which wagons and goods trains are handled on the Peckforton Light Railway. The system has evolved over many years. It isn't perfect, but I find it does make running sessions a lot more interesting and, to my mind, reasonably realistic. There is more information about my various computerised systems on my blog, where there are also links to free downloads of my computer-based programs for Microsoft and Apple computers.